Hello YouTube and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Thank you very much for joining me in this video and you join me at McAllen at the factory, the steel factory. And as you can see, the short, I call it the shunter train I suppose. The shunter train has got itself some steel, not a full load unfortunately. I think it's probably iron that's missing, as it usually is. But we do have that going over to the machines plant, where we'll have some machines being built. Why am I here today, you may ask? Because over the next few episodes, we're going to be building an entire new route from New Haven, going through Reno, uh, Springfield. I've got to get these names right now. New Haven, Reno, Springfield, uh, Port St. Lucie, and ending in Santa Ana. We are also going to have a route going out from Miami that's going to be going from Miami, New Orleans, Baltimore, McAllen, but not obviously not this freight station, and then over into Reno. And then I'm thinking perhaps there's a, another potential route that we can do going out and across so we're going to be working heavily on the west side of the map whole new routes but it does mean that a lot of the freight lines are going to have to be either repurposed as passenger lines or they are going to have to be expanded to actually cope with the passengers or moved entirely so make sure you stay tuned for that because i think that the next few episodes are going to be really really interesting and i'm really looking forward to building a whole bunch of new things Let's get started. All right, so for this, I'm going to keep it in uh, paused. I'm just going to leave it paused. There is an update coming for Transports Fever. I'm, I'm wondering if there will be performance updates on that. So I need to test it, but in trying to test it today, uh, one of the mods that runs in the background, the common API adapter, was broken. So I'm sure they're going to be fixing that. It does say that that will probably be fixed in the next release, but obviously I need to wait for that or try and uninstall that for the time being. So we are going to be running this without the beta test and we're going to be starting here in not in Reno actually we're going to be starting down here in New Haven now there are a couple of things to have a look at because we do have Newport News here and Newport News could very very easily go across to New Haven as as a line and New Haven could also very very easily go across to New York City so we have a lot that we could do, but I am thinking we could do New York City down to Newport News and then Newport News over to New Haven. And if you wish to go to New York City, you either go to New Haven and then, I mean, to Newport News and then up. Or if we were to put some docks here, we could have docks going, oh, ships going across to a port somewhere here in New York City. So that's the idea there. So for now, what I'm thinking we should do, um, yeah, what I'm thinking we should do is figure out where we want to put a station. Now this here looks like a really nice place to put a put a train station, just here. I think it's it's out of the way. It will allow the it will allow the town to grow, and it's it is a little bit away from the uh, from the pass passengers. Or the residential area but I think I think that it could be worth it also I need to take into account the potential for machines coming down this way as well but for the machines I'm thinking of putting a freight station right here in the middle of the town so with that all being said I think the passenger station is best off on this side and then we can loop it we can actually loop it around this way if we wanted to. I think that might be nice actually to, to loop it around this way. If we can figure out how to get that through there, that will be awesome. Anyway, let's go ahead and build it instead of just uh, talking about building it. We're going to go for 160 meters. This is probably going to be the longest length train station we have in this series. 
and I think they the 160 meters look the best. We're going to go for four tracks. Uh, is four tracks worth it? No, no, because there are not going to be that. No, we're going to go for two tracks. We're going to be going for two tracks. If we need to add more tracks, we can uh, at a later date. And then we just need to turn this around so that it, it works a little bit better. And I think approximately here works well. There we go. So if we wanted to connect this over to Newport News, let's just grab that. A little bit of a cut there, and then let's just see how this connects up. Let's just throw it in there. It does say collision, I know. Uh, most likely to do with the fact that the station platform length isn't it's not quite right, but that that looks fairly good. And there's a little little dip there, but that's not a problem. Okay, let's go ahead and build the road. Future proofing immediately. I'm going to have this built like that. And I am going to ensure that this is pretty much flat, at least for this little section here. There we go. I think it's important that that section stays flat and then we need to work out which roads are going to be main roads that is going to be one um, I think we'll have this one here be another like that the go for a medium road how's that dip looking not particularly particularly great I will nope I will do a road like that much smoother there we go that's better and then I mean that's already a main road so what we need to do is turn this into a main road right here and I would say can we turn this into a main road three main roads down that that seems reasonable that that does seem reasonable okay so with that now in place we need to put a bus station here so I'll stick the bus station in like that um, this looks like this could potentially be a rather large town I am going to do this for it though I'm not sure if we're going to have to use it but I am going to have a fairly large bus station set up like so okay that's the bus station in just got to even things out a little bit use the smoothing tool liberally there we go i think we should pro probably even this out as well otherwise the the uh ai is going to do some weird things there we go perfect okay so we now have a bus station we have our train station that's new haven pretty much ready to go but what i'm going to do is i'm going to set these up town by town so i'm actually going to set up the bus stops right now i think it's going to be pretty uh, a pretty good idea to to do that so the bus stops we have we're going to have two routes and our two routes are going to be going all around the perimeter of of the town I say the perimeter, not necessarily the perimeter as such, but in, in some ways. There we go. So we're going around that. The perimeter would probably be out there, but that's okay. And then we'll have, we'll have one more bus stop just there. We'll create two routes immediately. Um, let's see. New line. We're going to naturally paint it red. We'll go that way. There we go. That's one. 
and it's P A R D P A R D dash dash new new haven zero one. There we go. We'll now add another line. We'll have this line slightly darker. There we go. That's where we can see it quite clearly. This one will go in the reverse direction. Why? That's just weird. In fact, that's darker as well. So we'll leave it like that. P A R D New Haven 02. Now we could in the future have ones that go straight up here and straight down and so on. This just makes no sense once again. I'm hoping the update fixes that, but you know that that to me is just silly. The fact that it has to do that same here just makes no sense. But there we go. Okay. We also need a depot in this place. And I think the road depot should probably go uh, somewhere right near the station. So if I can pop in the road, see, I, I do not want to ruin that. Uh, do I want to have that curvature or do I want it? That's not bad. That one there is not so bad at all. I think I'll take it like that. Please don't crash on me with the old save. There we go. There's our road depot. Job done. Let's do that. We might have to start having a look at trams at some point, but at the moment, that's not that's not what we're after. Uh, we need passenger. We're going for stagecoaches. I'm looking for 10 on each line. Paint them. That's one for one. And then we'll go again. 10 more. There we go. Paint them slightly darker. And you go on zero two. Okay, let's uh, let's fast forward this. Let's get these out and about. So that we have something running. I know there's uh, things that say that condition road vehicles are poor and whatnot. But uh, we'll see. What I do like about this, as, as opposed to Transport Fever, the original Transport Fever and Train Fever before it, um, in fact, Train Fever was just trains, wasn't it? Uh, Transport Fever is that when you when you dispatch the various uh, stagecoaches, they do not all pile in following the same route. They split up to go into different areas. You can see immediately buildings have started to pop up. There's another one. Uh, roads have just started being placed it great and there are passengers waiting in in various different places new haven one these are all for new haven one and there's one for new haven two okay so that's awesome that's new haven completed uh, for now obviously the route has to be placed in we're now going to look at reno now reno is an interesting one we have the opportunity to bring fuel into reno we also have, I mean, we've got this route that could literally just peel off and park itself here. We also have the iron ore here that we could throw straight into there, which I think I am going to be doing because we need to add more coal and more iron on this, as you can see, to bolster production over here. There's a lot that we can create. Uh, I think there, there is a lot that we can create here. So, I think, taking that into account, I think the Reno line needs to be over on this side. We need to put the Reno line on this side, and it's going to have to be in such a way that freight can travel straight through it, I think. That could be a, a useful thing. That could very much be a useful thing to have freight traveling through. But then again, we could use this route, go across there, across there, and then we're, we're all right on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the train station for Reno right here. This is going to be a four track station that I know for certain that the four track is what we're going to have here. We can have it back onto some housing. 
like so. I'll, I'll place it here, I think. There we go. That looks reasonable. It says Reno Exchange, but it's, it is going to just be Reno. Uh, we'll have, for this one, I'm going to place the tracks in. I just pop all four construction knots possible. Why? All right, fine. If you want to be like that, I'll just get rid of that. There you go. Construction is possible now. And we shall build one, two, three, four, like so. And then we do not have to worry about that side. So these ones will connect up to the the two going to New Haven. Uh, the reason there's only two in New Haven is because every train is going to be stopping in New Haven. From Newport News, the first train stop is going to be New Haven. And then coming down here, the last train stop is going to be New Haven. And then New Haven, there may not be a train stopping in Reno all the time, but we will have one going to Huntsville, for example. And from McAllen, we are going to have trains coming to Reno as well. So the four track, we may even need more than four tracks, uh, to be completely honest. I should have done this the opposite. Ah, I should have done this the opposite way, but I can configure this. I can, I can fix this. Why, why do you not? Why are you not happy with this? All right, fine. How about that then? There you go. Now, unfortunately, it looks like the road does not uh, want to connect to that. Is there a way to have this road somehow connect? We could do something silly like that. I mean, that that's way people can go across. It's just a matter of having. See now, with in having that, people can actually go across from one to the other. That's just silly. That's just really silly. I've got a better idea. I've got a much better idea. There we go. Let's just stick a large street on. Like that. That's going downhill, so I'm actually going to try and keep it uh, not particularly flat. Why does that look strange? That looks like there is a very significant dip there. There is. Okay. We'll just do that then, and then I'll connect that up. What on earth? All right, uh, upgrade like that, and then like that. That could work. And then, how do you connect? That's, what, that's all I want. There we go. That's it. Job done. Why was that so difficult? What's... Go away. That's it. That's all I wanted. Okay. And then we'll bring this down quite nicely over to... Just bring it down over to here, right? I suppose we just... Do I, do I expand that road or do I, in fact, let me just leave this like this and then we'll see what it, what it brings. Okay. So the reason I've done that is so that I can demolish this side because this was a silly idea. There we go. And then if we need the extra tracks, we can put the extra, extra tracks there. Uh, bus stop for this one can probably go directly opposite. I shall place it. Here, will it fit? No. Okay. 
I suppose it's better for me to place it here then. There we go, it fits there, and we can always use a little bit of smoothing to sort this area out. Perfect. Bus stations, uh, sorry, bus stops, not bus, bus station is what's went in. Uh, bus stations, we could do, ah, now see, now that would be a good idea. Having that going all the way around instead of just in this, in this tiny area. What I've also noticed is that there could be a, a significant potential here. There's significant potential here for a bridge. Okay. Okay, now now I'm seeing ideas. Now I'm seeing uh, ways for this to work. So what I think I need to do is I need to do this first. You just demolish yourself there. You connect up to that. You connect up to this. That's terrible. Uh, you connect up to this. Like that. That's better. That's a lot better. You go across there. You get an upgrade you're going underneath in fact yours is going to be an even better one you're going to dig into the ground a little bit you're going to go one two three down is that good enough I think so think that could work so dip down and then you tracks no wait a minute wait a minute see now that is possible there you go you do that and I think we're happy with a tiny little I mean, trains going over a humpback bridge it's not a much of a problem is it now how large is this side of the bridge one two three and then the large part so it's going to be one two one two three and then the large bit there there we go you follow the same pattern and then please tell me you can follow the exact same pattern ah interesting you can just go straight well, that's interesting. I would rather that that happened. I would much rather that happened. So can you go straight as well? You can, as opposed to having a little bit of a, a bump. How can I manage that? Okay, let me try this. Well, that's a very tiny bump so let me see if that helps will this manage to copy it it does okay I can I can live with the absolute tiniest of bumps also these two have got a lot closer together but that's okay because they're supposed to be joining up so I'm not all too all too fussed about that what I am going to do though is I need to yeah I need to do that I need to make sure that these actually do join up properly like so and then like so okay that's Reno looking really good actually that that really does look that's that's going to work that is really really going to work imagine having buildings along here and then Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, bus stops. Now we can put the bus stops in. I know I was supposed to be doing that before. So I shall have a bus stop. Now we're going to have to do bus stops down here. But 
I'm actually going to put one there. I'm going to put one here. I'll put one here. Now we're not going to be going out that way just yet. I'll put one at this corner and I shall put one over here. That, that gives us a fair amount to be playing around with. We'll then go ahead and place our depot. Uh, depot right next to the bus stop, of course. That seems to work. Slightly dip down, that's fine. Use the smoothing tool to help out. Do not demolish it. Create the bus lines. New line. There you go. That one works. That's all on the inside. Red. I have a habit of red lines. It's a, a London thing. Reno 01. Then we'll create a second line. And of course this is going to do the stupid thing right there and there. I really hope that is fixed. And this can be PARD Reno 02. Job done. Let's get the stage coaches. We're going for, I'll go for six going in one direction and six. Okay, fine, I'll click it like that then. Six going in the other direction. Let's go ahead and play this. Get these out and about and let's see what we have. That's really nice. That is actually really, really nice. Right. The houses are building immediately or upgrading so that's that's awesome to see as well and let's just see how the passengers I mean they immediately built a road there let's see how the passengers run here right That seems to be working. That does seem to be working. Just, I mean, look at the commercial building stock. It, it is helping. And certainly the, it, it is growing as well in population. 147 is what we're looking for now. So that means that we do have opportunities here. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a picture here for this and that's going to be the screenshots for the episode because I think that this probably looks uh, pretty much this is probably one of the best setups I've ever done so well so far similar to one that I had I think I've done setups similar to this a long time ago in transports fever but that is that's the setup that we're going to have that's the thumbnail for the episode in the next episode, we're going to be continuing with the build. We're going to be working out how to get a train going to Huntsville and Springfield. Now, Springfield and Huntsville are going to be the two difficult ones. We're not going to join up the lines just yet, of course. We're going to just make sure that all the stations and everything are in place before we do that. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel clicking that notification bell as well to make sure that you guys know when i'm posting more episodes if you can't afford to do so please do consider supporting me on patreon www.patreon.com slash ec gadgets your support would be massively massively appreciated it would really really help me out even if it's just one pound uh, imagine all of my subscribers uh, gave one pound that would one pound a month that would just sort sort me out for I'd, I'd be able to do this full time immediately for for that kind of stuff if you do 
like to see some more things like this, if you do want to see some screenshots, things like that, you can find me on social media at EC Gadgets LP for both Twitter and Instagram. And I think that's all from me, and I'll see you guys next time in Transport Fever 2, where we are going into 1897, and with two more stations, two more bus, four more bus routes, and a lot more building to go.